hello students welcome to this uh, one another video from uh, engineers academy uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you are watching uh, my videos for the first time uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the moment of inertia for the shaded area about the y-axis so we can solve this problem using two methods so the first method is that uh, if we define our differential area parallel to the y-axis and the other method is that if we define uh, our differential strip or area perpendicular to the y-axis so I will solve this problem using those two methods so if I define my differential area or differential strip parallel to the y-axis and as we can see that each and every part of this differential strip or area is at a distance of y from the x, at a distance of x from the y axis this distance is x so we can use this equation that the moment of inertia of this differential strip so that will be diy and this will be equal to the the, the distance between the the distance of this dA from the y-axis is squared so we can say that this is x squared times dA so so this equation gives us the moment of inertia of this small strip right so what we need to do is that we need to find the moment of inertia of this uh, blue area so we need to add up the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from uh, uh, x equals to minus 100 so here we will have here the x value is plus 100 so we are here we will have the x value is minus 100 so this is minus 100 so we need to add up the um, moment of inertia of all the strips from x equals to minus 100 until x equals to plus 100 so we have to integrate this so this is the integration from x equals to minus 100 until x equals to plus 100 and this d and this will cancel out so this will give us the moment of inertia of the of the whole area so this is i y now we can say we can find d a so d a so if i define that this is the height of this differential strip this is the height so let's say that we define that this is height so now uh, the this end of the differential strip is located at a distance of x this is a distance of x and uh, this length is y so the coordinates of the end of this ends of the differential strip is x y right so we can say that this is at a distance of x and y from the origin and this end of the differential strip is at a distance of x and the y coordinate is 200 right so we can say that this is at x and 200 so now uh, we can say that the height is this 200 minus this y coordinate so we can uh, take the difference of the y coordinates of both the ends of the differential strip so this is 200 minus uh, y right so that is the height so let me write that this is 200 minus y and the width of this differential strip is the small change in x right so this is the small change in x this is dx so we can write that the area is 200 minus y times dx so now i can put that in this equation this is from minus 100 to plus 100 and x square into 200 minus y into dx so now as we can see that the integration is with respect to x the integration is with respect to x and here we have y so we have to represent we have to put this y as a function of x so we are given this this is 1 divided by 50 x square so we can substitute this y equals to 1 divided by 50 x square so then we can say that this will be the moment of inertia about the y-axis is and this is from minus 100 to plus 100 x square and this will be 200 minus y and now y is 1 divided by 50 x square dx and again if 
this is minus 100 to plus 100 and if I multiply this so this will be 200 x square minus 1 divided by 50 x to the power 4 dx. Now we can integrate this this is uh, the, the integration of this will be 200 x to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 50 x to the power 5 divided by 5 and from minus 100 to plus 100. So now we need to put these limits so this is 200 100 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus uh, this will become 250 5 into 50 is 250 250 and 100 to the power 5 and this is minus and now if I put this minus 100 so that is 200 minus 100 to the power 3 divided by 3 and minus uh, again this is 250 let me write this is 250 250 and minus 100 to the power 5. So we got this. This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 26.67. And now we will find this and subtract that, right? So I will write that answer minus this value, right? So this is. 200 into minus 100 to the power 3 divided by 3 and minus that minus 100 to the power 5 divided by 250. So this gives us uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 53.33. This is 53.33 into 10 raised to the power 6 and the units of moment of inertia, the area of moment of inertia is millimeter to the power 4. So this is the moment of inertia of uh, this given area about the y axis. Now there is one another method as I have told you people that uh, if we consider this differential strip perpendicular to the y axis. So then we can find the moment of inertia as well. So now let's try that method as well. So now if if my area is, if I my, my defined area is perpendicular to the y-axis, let's say this is our differential area now. So as we can see that uh, the this y-axis is, is passing through the centroid of this uh, differential strip. So we can write that uh, as we know that the moment of inertia of a of a rectangle and when the axis is passing through its centroid we know that we have determined that and we know that from the tables as well this is a rectangle so we can say that its moment of inertia about that axis let's say this is x dash so x the moment of inertia about x dash axis will be 1 divided by 12 this base this is that base times the height cube right so base times the height cube now if we define our uh, differential area perpendicular to the y axis and the y axis is passing through the centroid of this differential strip so we can say that diy will be equal to 1 divided by 12 and the the base is that side of a rectangle which is parallel to the that axis is right so in this particular case this this is our axis is and the base this is the base which is parallel to this so now in this particular case this will be our base and this base is small change in y this is dy and this is the height of this for this particular orientation this is the base and this is the height right so we can say that this is dy and this length so this length from here to here this length is x and from here to here this length is also x so the the total length uh, or height is 2x right so we can say that this is diy 1 divided by 12 dy 
times the height cube, right? So that is 2x to the power 3. So now this is the moment of inertia about the y axis is for this differential strip which is perpendicular to the y axis. So let me write that diy is equal to 1 divided by 12. Let me write this first. This is 2x to the power 3 into dy. Now, if I simplify this, this is 1 divided by 12 and 2 to the power 3 is 8 and that is x to the power 3. So, this is 8x to the power 3. Let me write it like this and dy. And this is 8 divided by 12. So, we can say that this is uh, 2 divided by 3. Uh, let me write this as 8 divided by 3x cubed dy. And now, if we want to find the moment of inertia of this given area, so we have to integrate both sides of the equation. So, if I integrate this, this is constant, this is out of integration. So, this will cancel out. So, this is the moment of inertia about the y axis is 8 divided by 3, and the integration is with respect to y, and this is x cubed. So, we have to represent this x as a function of y. We are given this. So, we can write that uh, from this equation, we can write that x square is equal to 50y. And we need to write x to the power 3, right? So, if we take the square root, then this will be x. Uh, we can say that this is square root uh, 50 and y to the power 1 divided by 2. And now x to the power 3 will be equal to 50. This is 50 to the power 1 divided by 2. And y to the power 1 divided by 2. And we need to take the cube root. So, this is x to the power 3 and this will multiply with both the powers. So, this will become 3 divided by 2 and this will become 3 divided by 2. So, this is x to the power 3. Now, I can write this as this will be uh, 50 to the power 3 divided by 2 and y to the power 3 divided by 2 dy. And now, this is constant as well. We can write it outside. So, that is 8 divided by 3 into 50 to the power 3 divided by 2. And now the integration is with respect to y. So, as we can see that uh, the y limits are from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200. We have to add at the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200 mm. So, I have to integrate this from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200 mm. So, this is i y. Let me first find this constant this is 8 divided by 3. This is this was uh, 8 divided by 12. Remember, this is 8 divided by 12. Remember, this is I have done one small mistake. This is 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. So, 8 divided by 12. So, this is 8 divided by 12 into 50. So, this is 8 divided by 12 into 50 to the power 3 divided by 2. This gives me 235.70. Thirty-five point seven zero, and this is if we integrate this. So this is y three divided by two plus one. So three divided by two plus one is five divided by two, and divided by that same power five divided by two. Or we can write this as two divided by five, and this is from zero to two hundred. So again, this is two thirty-five point seven zero into two divided by five. So this answer multiply by two divided by 5. So, this is 94.281. 94.281 y to the power 5 divided by 2 from 0 to 200. And now, if I put these limits, so this is 94.28 and 200 to the power 5 divided by 2 minus 0, right? So, we are left with this. So, now this is 94, this same answer multiply by 200 to the power 5 divided by 2. So, this gives us that same moment of inertia about the y axis that is 53.33. This is 53.33 into 10 raised to the power 6 millimeter to the power 4. So, this is how you uh, guys can find the moment of inertia about any particular axis is 
if your def, uh, defined differential strip, uh, uh, the centroid of the axis is about which you people want to find the moment of inertia passes through the centroid of your defined differential strip. So then this, this is the most feasible method as you people can see that uh, lesser steps were required uh, while solving this, right. So now it's up to you people that which method uh, uh, you, you people feel better to solve such kind of problems. So this is the solution of uh, this problem. I hope you people will find this helpful. Uh, do subscribe my channel and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibler statics.